right, so we're going to go over conversion API in this video. I'm going to talk about, I'm going to show you guys where to kind of, where to set it up. Just a couple ways to do it and uh, how we set it up for WordPress um, and Shopify. So just to kind of clarify, Shopify already has like a built-in sort of setup for you. You just have to go turn it on. So if you don't know where to go to do that, I'm going to show you how to do that here. But first and foremost, um, what we're going to do is uh, just generally go through the event manager um, and uh, show you where you can set up your conversion API here. So there's a couple ways we could do this. Uh, we can go to the pixel itself. And um, if you click on settings and you scroll down, you're going to want, you're going to want to make sure automatic advanced matching is turned on and just click on show options. Make sure everything is toggled to on. I turned this one on anyways. Um, and here you're going to see a section for conversion API. So if you are on WordPress, for example, you can click on choose a partner and like whatever option you choose, it's literally going to walk you through how to set it up. <clears throat> so for example, WordPress, you can see here, it even has screenshots. It'll show you how it's set up. I think the actual one that they have now is different. It looks different. But anyways, um, you can follow the prompts here. It's going to tell you how you can search for it in, uh, in the plugin library in WordPress. I believe it's also going to give us the option to download the zip file so you can upload it. There you go. So I'm going to put um, margaretx.com. I don't know. It's not actually going to do much of anything. So anyway, so, uh, you know, it did have a section where you could download the uh, zip. I guess it doesn't anymore. Just want you to search for it. That's fine. We'll just search for it. It's okay. So I'm going to go to the back end of our site. Let me make this, let me make myself smaller. Okay. I'm going to go to the back end of our site and um, go to plugins here on the left hand side. Add new plugin. So you want to go into your plugins library and go Facebook or WordPress and search for that. Uh, so I already have it installed. This is the one that you want. You might get it confused with this one. This is for WooCommerce. Um, that's a whole other thing. So this is the one you want for the conversion API. That's the one that Facebook is asking you to install. Um, it's going to look like this and you'll see that that is exactly what it is. Uh, I already installed it. So I'm just going to go looking for it, which is down here under my tools for settings. And as you can see, it's the same one that, um, Facebook recommends. So click on get started. You're going to see a pop-up like this and, uh, you'll want to sign into that. So right now I signed in, I picked my, uh, business manager account the right one, the ad manager account and the pixel that's going to um, be connected to all this. And as you can see, it was connecting. So then you click on done and it'll say here. Uh, yeah, it's just prompting you saying it's going to share, uh, agree to share my token on the site. You hit confirm. So in this case, because it's already all integrated with this um, plugin and you signed in, you don't actually need to go generate the token and provide it, like copy and paste it. It's already automatically set up, okay? Another way to uh, do this, if you don't want to use Facebook's um, plugin, because honestly, it's clunky sometimes and, um, ah, oops. It's clunky sometimes and if you don't, Sometimes when you sign in, because it asks you to sign in to connect everything, sometimes when you sign in, it'll say, hey, you need to request admin or be an admin of your own ad account before you do this. It's like, well, I'm already an admin. So anyway, it's super glitchy, super clunky. So if you don't like it, uh, you could do um, pixel your site. It's actually the one I prefer. They have a free and paid version. You do a lot with the paid. Um, it's this one here. <clears throat> so I'm just going to install that real quick. Once you've activated it, just come down to pixel your site. And then with this one, um, you click here, it says click, uh, blah, click for settings. 
you're going to want to put your pixel ID. So let's go back here for a second. So it's going to ask you for your Facebook pixel. So you're going to want to go back to your event manager, find your pixel, go to settings, uh, scroll down. Like I just like to do this real quick, just in case you haven't done this, just scroll down, check and see if you have automatic advanced matching set up. If you don't just turn it all on. Okay. I like to turn this one on too. Anyways. Um, so, uh, look for pixel ID at the top. Just click on that to copy it. Go back to pixel your site, paste that in, and then you're going to want to come back and you're going to need to um, copy your API token. So if you scroll down again here uh, in event manager under your pixel under settings, scroll down until you find conversion API, and then you'll see the blue link says generate access token. Just click on that. And then once you get it, just click to copy and then go back to pixel your site, paste it in. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna go back again and then um, instead of settings, go to test events here, copy this code here, and then go back to pixel your site and uh, paste it into the test event code. If you haven't verified your domain name yet, um, we did cover a video about how you could do that. Um, that very first option that it tells you there's like a meta tag that you can copy, with Pixel Your Site, they do allow you to paste that meta tag here for, for domain verification. So if you did do your domain verification or you're, you're, you're kind of in that process and you're struggling and uh, no method works and you're using WordPress, you could download Pixel Your Site. Try that. It should work. So the other thing you want to do is make sure you check this off uh, to send events directly from your web server to Facebook through the conversion API. Uh, the last thing you want to do is just save your settings. So scroll all the way down. And what we're going to do is quickly go on the site and double check that that is firing. Okay. So I'm going to use my Facebook pixel helper. If you don't have this, make sure you go and, um, you can, you can Google, uh, Facebook pixel helper. You'll see there's an option. Um, I'll just do that real quick. Here under Chrome, uh, it's a Chrome extension and you can just, you know, click that, install that extension and um, basically you'll have this tool, which will show you if events are firing. So this is my Facebook pixel 1663. I don't think it's firing because uh, I don't think the conversion API is firing, but this one might actually be, um, let's just go take a look. It's going to go here. Oops. It's going to run a quick test. You can go back to tests and, and, um, bring your domain name and, and run a quick test. I would actually do that first. And let's just check here. Okay, cool. See, we can see my pixel there. It's firing. Everything's looking pretty good. So now when we come back to our event manager, you'll see that um, Facebook is now sending, uh, sorry, that the API, the server sending in events as well as the browser. And it's all under this one pixel just combined. Okay. Um, another way that you could do it, actually, let me just make sure. Yeah. So this is, this is good. So, this is basically set up like <laughs> we got a conversion API set up. Uh, the other way that we could do that is you could set up a separate conversion. So you can go to connect data sources and go to um, web connect and then select conversion API. And I'm going to call this uh, BMKTG API.
and it's going to walk you through their setup. So again, you can, you know, click on you, you can do it manually, you can do use a partner. Um, WordPress is just going to, you know, again, walk you through how to do it with, um, with WordPress. Um, when you go to your site, you're not going to see one, you're going to see two. They're going to be completely separate. Now, keep in mind, if you connected it, to, you put it together, like how we have it here, like you don't need to go and create a conversion API, like a separate conversion API. Don't do that. You're just going to mess it all up by sending um, duplicated events. Just uh, you'll have a, a pixel and an API and those two will fire separately. Uh, I have tested that. I have both actually have tested it and um, having them separate just works just as good as having them together. So unless somebody else has different theories then please let me know in the Facebook group, I'd be happy to, um, to know how you guys set your stuff up. Or what you guys have tested but anyway so that is what you do with um wordpress now with shopify so um once you sign into your shopify account you're going to want to go to the uh, left hand side where it says facebook when you click on that you'll see something that looks like this and this is super easy so then just click on settings and then uh click where it says data sharing settings and um, you're gonna wanna make sure this is enabled to so turn it on and turn on maximum. So put maximum on there. And uh, I mean, honestly, like this here, read it. <laughs> so you understand what's happening, what you're sending back. And, you know, I should make sure that your policies state that this is happening, your privacy policies. I am not, you know, telling you to turn this on without doing this. No, like you're gonna wanna make sure your private with anything really, like even, even with, with, um, WordPress, like always make sure you have an up-to-date privacy policy that states what you're doing and how you're using your data and what you're sending and how. So if you don't have a privacy policy, then you're going to need to get one. And, um, I suggest maybe talking to a lawyer to help you set one up. Just a couple of things that you're going to want to make sure, um, again, under settings, make sure advanced matching is turned on. Uh, the other thing you're going to want to do is to make sure that your uh, pixel is connected to your ad account so that your like everything ties in together, your domain verification with your pixel slash conversion API and your ad account. So to do that, just go to settings, uh, business settings, and then um, you're going to want to go to data sources and then pixels find your pixel and then click on, uh, add assets, find your ad account, and then, um, click find your ad account and then click on oops, add. And now that you can click on connected assets, you'll see that that is now all tied together. If it wants to load, Facebook is so slow sometimes. Oh, geez. I just refreshed. It's okay. Connected assets. Okay. There it is. And you know, if you have a separate API, you basically want to do the same, right? So there it is. Okay. That's, that's pretty much it. So very simple, straightforward. Again, if you're going to do it manually, I suggest getting a developer. If you're not sure what to, what you're doing, um, you can set this up through Google tag manager as well. But again, I'm not going to walk through that. I think that it's a little too complicated, so it's better to, to talk to, um, a developer as well as it's just, you know, when it comes to, to things like that, where he, he, the developer, however it is that you set it up, you have to really make sure that your events are set up properly or else it's going to like tank your campaigns. Um, I would rather you talk to someone that can like a developer, someone that can help you with that. Um, just make sure you don't, Go through those through those struggles so anyways we will see you in the next video which is going to be about um setting up your aggregated events and identifying your uh priority events